what is up ladies and gentlemen my name is Roy and you're watching Roy's customs okay so what I have behind me here is um, I have the speaker box framed and fleeced for the ZX2 project now it does still need to be um, fiberglassed obviously and then of course um, uh, I'll have to put fiberglass cloth on it and I'll have to tuck some stuff in the inside to actually strengthen it up um, I wanted it this way uh, because um, well it's it's really kind of a cool design to actually have it um, concaved have it um, you know instead of out or flat I wanted to give it a little bit different shape now these are actually a little bit harder to fleece uh, because you have to do such an intensive stretching in order to get this to give you your inner ring lines because you want those so that you have a nice solid surface all the way around so um, this will have to be I, I may end up having to stretch it a little more but uh, I think it's actually going to be decent enough to actually uh, go ahead and call that good um, it does look good you can see the rings where they're separated and um, there is plenty of flat surface so um, I'll just see how that turns out once I actually get it uh, uh, at least fiberglassed and then we will see if there's anything that needs to be done um, I have made a couple of this style before. Uh, they are a little bit more difficult to do for the center. Um, and being as there's so many curves, uh, they're a little harder to actually like sit down and stuff. So you mostly have to do it by hand. Um, you can kind of hit it up with the DA real quick to knock some down, but to get a nice, a nice smooth shape, you'll want to do a lot of it by hand. Uh, really on this style um, as far as like the standard styles they're not really nearly as bad because you know you don't have such a, a huge um, uh, seat curve curvature in here to have to deal with on your standard boxes so um, like uh, whenever it comes down to doing uh, fiberglass sub boxes you know you, you've got to kind of watch your shape your design um, and you know stuff like that and you still want to make sure you got proper air space uh, uh, I did I did make it to where it is basically a general air space like if you went out and just bought a sub box from like a car audio store or something they sell like a standard size uh, or they used to anyways it was just like here's a box for your subs uh, so and, and I made it basically a standard size um, if I need to I can port it if I have to or or just leave it sealed what I'm probably going to end up doing is probably going to the pawn shop and finding a decent set of uh, 12s to use for it you know to save me some money and a lot of times pawn shops uh, they'll let you uh, check them out hear them first most of the time um, and but usually they usually work well uh, for the most part um, I'm not gonna have a huge massive system I just want a little bit of bump and I figure uh, I'll do it in style you know Roy's custom style um, also when it comes down to painting this uh, after I decide what my collars and stuff is gonna be for the car I'm going to paint the box to match so basically whenever I do get this thing uh, fiberglassed and and get it smoothed out and stuff and then I'll get it primered and then I'll just leave it in primer excuse me until until I decide what color I'm gonna go with um, I, I, I am thinking of my channel colors black neon green and purple uh, some variation of that is what I'd really like to go with but I'm not really positive I, I may just do like one solid color uh, and I, I don't know yet uh, I'm not really positive 
I would kind of like to keep it with my particular theme. So I'll figure all that stuff out as you know as soon as I can. Um, anyways, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. Um, like I got this uh, framed in fleece uh, now. <coughs> If you're watching this video because you want to see framing and fleecing or, or whatever, I do have other videos and I will have links in the description below for a couple of different videos so uh, that you can watch for framing and fleecing and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, anyways, um, that's pretty much going to be it for the little update on the sub box for the ZX2 project and and actually this this design uh, kind of kind of flows pretty well with the design of the car so anyways um, I do have a little bit of work that I got uh, that I'm gonna be doing here tonight um, I, I have blocked my center bar uh, I did crack it but I did go ahead and fill it for my uh, grill bar uh, for my front bumper. I, I did crack it, but I do have it filled. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna block that here in a few minutes. And I'm also gonna work on the side skirt a little bit. I'm just gonna knock it down because I don't really have uh, much of anything to work with today, but I am gonna go ahead and knock the side skirt down with some 60 grit so that at least it'll be ready. Um, because it's pretty jagged and it looks pretty nasty so if I can get a jump start on smoothing that out then then yippee so anyways but I do have to block this front bumper real quick just one little spot and I'll show you it's just one little spot like I say I had cracked it so I had to patch it real quick and then there was a couple of little spots there that I had to take care of and my car is being invaded by ants uh, it's probably because um, I park on a sand pile so and there's a bunch of uh, stuff going yeah you can see where I had did the sanding last night down there uh, so anyways um, that's what we're gonna be doing here in a few minutes and I'll uh, like I say I had put another coat of body filler on that to kind of try to smooth it out a lot better than it was but now I got a got to go ahead and I'm gonna probably hit that with like some 60 grit to knock it down real quick just I don't normally use 60 grit but I've got some and I figure boom I'll just hit it real quick and call it good because I am gonna have to do a little bit more to it so anyways that's really kind of what I'm doing today um, I do have a big old pile of uh, metal back there that I do need to haul off tomorrow uh, and I got a bunch of other scrap that I need to haul off tomorrow so tomorrow will be my uh, little scrap day and I'll see what happens with all that and anyways I'm gonna get to working on this side skirt a little bit in this uh, front lip but uh, I just kind of wanted to show you my uh, speaker box that I've kind of been working on and, and I'll get it fiberglassed and and I'll get it sanded down, smoothed out, get some body filler on it to kind of clean it up and stuff. Uh, but it should be pretty decent just, just the way it sets, but it still will need strengthened in all the main areas. And then in the inside, it'll need to be strengthened too. So anyways, um, I sure do appreciate you guys watching. Um, hit the notifications. Uh, Feel free to subscribe, like, uh, leave comments. Um, have a spectacular day or night, whichever one it is for you. Peace out.